ready. Nikki. <laughs> better, better. We have to repeat the question. No, we don't. Do we have to repeat the question? Well, like, I'm more of like the quiet one. She's more like the outgoing one. Yes. We wear the same clothes, same shoe size. We like the same clothes style. We, we have, have the same, same necklace. necklace. Um, I think Nicole looks in the mirror too much. And she puts too much makeup on at times. But other than that, I think she's a great sister. I think Stephanie criticizes me a lot. But other, we get along. Yeah, we get part. along for the most part. But I consider you my best friend. Me too. My sister goes to FDU and it's just really weird like not sharing a room with her and just very different. Sometimes I wake up, I'm like, where's that? And I'm like, oh, she's at FDU. Uh, oh yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite pictures of me and Steph because, you know, it's one of those few times that we actually dressed alike for Halloween and we were the fat twins from the new Alice in Wonderland movie. And it was just weird because everyone couldn't tell us apart. We had the same hairdo, same pants, socks, everything. So I just think it was kind of cool. And it's definitely one of my favorite pictures. I'm about to show you my room. I basically spent all my time here, so it's a little messy, but this is my roommate closet. This is mine. I have a, my roommate Erica. She's also my teammate. She's the post. She stays on this side, and this is my bed. I have a couple pictures up. This one over here is actually one of my favorite pictures of my mom and my sister. This is actually for graduation, and it w it wasn't really posed. We kind of just took the picture, and I love it. I will never take it out of here. And this is my sister and I, Nikki, at her Manhattan Madness. That was pretty fun. I'm always listening to my boombox over here, which is really covered, but there it is. And of course, another picture of my sister and I, because it's like a girl. So that's basically that's basically my room. It's super messy right now, but. You know, it is what it is. Oh, I'm so tired. But I just, you know, it's different being here by myself without my sister. Like, it's just different. My, even though she is close, though, she's only like nine miles away. So it's not too bad. But, you know, my whole life, I shared a room with her. Like, we shared a room together. So it's like she was my roommate for 17 years. And then all of a sudden, like, we, like, we're not together anymore. But, you know, I get to see her, though. She comes to my games. I go to hers. So... It's not too bad. Signing my letter of intent was something so, so, um, the words don't even come out. It was just something that enlightened me. Like, I was so, like, all the stress that I had was gone. I knew that I'm going to a school that I'm going to enjoy. It was just amazing for me to sign my letter of intent to have four other teammates be able to sign a letter of intent. Cole signed her letter before. She didn't sign her letter before me, but she committed to Manhattan before I committed. So when Nicole committed to Manhattan, I didn't have a school to go to. And she didn't want to commit to Manhattan before I committed to a school because Nicole wanted both of us to go to the same school. I told Nicole, be happy. If you like the school, go to the school, have fun, enjoy it, and I will find the school. Like, don't worry about me. So I convinced her to commit to Manhattan, and Nicole did. She committed to Manhattan, and it was it was different because now she it was like bittersweet, especially for my mom. I know because she really wanted us to go to the same school, but she was extremely happy that Nicole got a scholarship. So as soon as I committed to FDU. The first thing I asked my coach was, how far is FDU from Manhattan College? 
He told me nine miles. I said, great, I'm coming here. When I play my sister in the upcoming weeks, um, I think it's gonna be very strange. It's gonna happen when I see her on the other team. How, I mean, how am I gonna react to it? And I think I'm gonna be nervous, and I think as soon as I see her on the floor, my heart's gonna drop a little and I'm gonna have butterflies. Before the game, I was actually extremely excited to get to the school, to get my uniform on, to get on the court, to see her. for whoever wins? Just keep shooting. Like I was just trying to keep her confidence up. Even though we're on, we were on different teams. I still wanted her to do really well. And it was a moment where Stephanie wanted to guard me, and it was just kind of, it was just kind of funny because Stephanie really wanted to guard me. But I don't think your coach let you right guard me. It was actually the opposite. I didn't want to guard you. Oh, she didn't want to guard me. Basketball to me, to both of us, I think means something more far than just basketball. It's like something that we grew up with. I think it's something that brings us together. Yeah, definitely. We use the same shampoo and conditioner. We use the same soap too. Yes. We do it. We we're basically the same person. Just and that we use she the looks same face wash. wash. Yeah. She has more pimples. It was like meant to be, kind of, because I didn't score and neither did she. So we kind of canceled each other out, which in a way I was happy with. And just know that we're that we kind of did the same thing. Even though we're on different teams, we still have each other's back, regardless. And it was just fun to always play with her. We always had a connection that no one else really had.